boys and girls, we're ready for another OG lesson. We're going to start by reviewing some of our words. I see some of our words have our suffix ed, and our base word ends in a t, so we know that says ed, means it happened in the past. And we have one with our suffix ing that says ing, that means right now. Oh, and I also see our silent e hops over one consonant, makes the a say a. Let's get reading. You can read these with me or echo me. Take, cape, rented, punted, melted, skate, truck, planted, ending. Let's go back and practice these so we sound a little stronger, a little smoother. Read them at the same time as me. As me. Take, cape, rented, punted, melted, skate, truck, planted, ending. Can you read these if you are happy when it is the weekend and you get a couple days off? Read loud. Take, cape, rented, punted, melted, skate, truck, planted, ending. Read these loud. If you wish, we would get a whole bunch of snow, a big snowstorm to go out and play and build a fort in. Read loud. Take, cape, rented, Hunted, melted, skate, truck, planted, ending. All right. I am thinking of a word, and it's something you can do on the ice or when you have um, rollers on, and it's an action. Skate, right. I'm thinking of a word. And it's not the beginning, it's the opposite, the antonym. It's the ending, right? I'm thinking of a word and it's something that superheroes wear. A cape, right, when they fly. I'm thinking of a word and it means it, it happened in the past when you kick something but you already did it, punted, right? All right, this time I want you to shout the word out before I exit out. Here we go. Take, truck, melted, planted, rented, ending, punted, skate, cape. Good. Now let's review. We have been working on the silent E, the I, consonant E, the E hops over one consonant, makes the I say its long sound, its name of I. Let's practice these. You can echo me or read them with me. Shine. Remember our E is silent. It's this there to make the I say I, to hop over. Here we go. Time, five, side, wide, life, fine, drive, mine. Can you read these again if you like Saturdays? Do you like Saturdays? Do you do special things on Saturdays? Let's hear you. Shine, time, five, side, wide, life, fine, drive, mine. Can we read these again? And you read them if you like Sundays. Do you do something special on Sundays? Go to church or go to grandma's or anything special? Read loud. Shine. Time, five, side, wide, life, fine, drive, mine. Let's play our game. 
I'm thinking of a word and um, it's really, when it's something's really bright, we say it will shine, right? I'm thinking of a word that's a number word. Five, good. I'm thinking of a word and it's something you do with a bike or a car. When, when you get older, you can do a car. You can do a bike right now. You drive it, right? I'm thinking of a word and it tells us when to do things. A clock tells us when to do things. So we say it's the time, right? Do we have any rhyming words? Do you see any words? Let's see. Hmm, I see a couple. Shine and mine. They have the same vowel and the same consonant. Ooh, I see another side and wide. They're in the eyed family. Five and drive. They rhyme. And I think that's it. That's an M and that's an F. So they don't rhyme. All right, you shout the word out before I exit out. Drive, five, life, fine, wide, time, mine, side, shine. All right, let's get our paper. Let's get ready to practice our sounds and our words. Today is January the 29th. Oh my goodness, it's gone fast. It's almost a new month. Okay, write me the lowercase letters and it's a suffix and it means in the past. And it has three sounds. Ed, D, D, It's an ED. Uh, and also we'll meet in the gym this afternoon. We're going to pause for a second. For about 20 minutes or so, give everybody some updates, and then we'll get out of here for the day. Once again, meeting with third grade now, fourth grade will move to tomorrow, 245. We meet in the gym about 315. If that runs over late, I'll let you know via radio. Got any questions? Let us know. Oh, did you hear that, boys and girls? That was Mr. Stout talking. He interrupted our video. Let's keep going. All right. Write me the lowercase letters that say I. How do we get that long I sound? I, consonant E, says I. It hops over one consonant and makes the I say I. Write me the lowercase letter that says E as in the two syllable word funny. It's that Y acting like an E. Write me the lowercase letters that say k, as in duck, at the end of a one-syllable word after one short vowel, k is spelled C-K. Write me the lowercase letters that say sh, as in ship. Good, S-H. Write me the lowercase letters that say is, and it means more than one like foxes, boxes and we say when a word ends in C H S H S X or Z add E S and you'll please me. It's one of our suffixes. Write me the lowercase letters that say S as in class. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel S is spelled S S. Write me the lowercase letters that say CH as in catch. At the end of a one-syllable word after one short vowel, ch is spelled T-C-H. Write me the lowercase letters that say br. It's an R blend. Br. B-R, right. Write me the lowercase letters that say ing, and it's our suffix that means right now. It's happening now. I-N-G says ing. Write me the lowercase letters that say tr. It's an R blend. Tr. T R, right? And write me the lowercase letters that say A as in cake. How do we get that A sound? A consonant E. The E hops over, makes the A say A. The E is silent. 
All right, let's spell some words. You will need your tapping hand. Our first word is take. T A K. Three sounds, but four letters. T A K. How do we get that A sound? We need that silent E. Pops over one consonant, so it's just the K. -K. No C K. Nope, it's not. It's not a. A consonant consonant E which is one consonant and a CK comes after a short vowel that's what the rule says so it's just a K our next word save save three sounds but four letters save what do we need to make the A say A a silent E but also no English word ends in V, always followed by a silent E. S A V E, save. Our next word, let's do the base word first match. Match. Remember, I hear that ch, and our vowel is a short vowel at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel. Ch is spelled T C H one match but what if i said there are lots of matches oh add your es suffix when a word ends in c h s h s x or z add es and you'll please me matches one more the word is fridge let's tap it fr idge ooh four sounds but six letters fr Edge. Remember, at the end of a one-syllable word, after one short vowel, j, you spell D-G-E. Let's go back and read these together. Take, save, matches, fridge. All right, at our diamond, we're working on the I consonant E, as in bike. Bike is our key word. I consonant E says I. The E hops over one consonant to make the I say I. I consonant E says I. All right, we're going to work on some I words. Let's flip our paper over. Here we go. Our first word is five. I've. Three sounds, but four letters. I've. No English word ends in B, always followed by a silent E. And our E hops over and makes the I say I. Five. Our next word is life. L I. That's a softer sound. L I. What do we need to make the I say I? A silent E. Life. L I F E. So it's not a hard sound like the V. Our next word is side. Ready? Side. Side. Make sure you're making a D. But what do we need to make the I say I? That silent E. S I D E. Side. Our last one you might see on Valentine's. Mine. Mm. I they like to say be mine a lot. So you will see this word. Mm I and we need that silent E to hop over and make the I say I. Let's go back and read these together. Five life side mine. Alright, we don't have a brand new memory word today. Ooh, I'm hiding the clue. Do you remember what this word is? T-W-O says it's a number word, too, right? Let's sky write. Here we go. T-W-O says two. T-W-O says two. T-W-O says two. Let's say it as we write it. We want to get it lasered into our brains. T-W-O says two. T. W O says two. T W O says two. T W O says two. Let's look at it again. 
Let's sky write T, W, O says two. Can you close your eyes and do it? T, W, O says two. Can you do it without looking? Did you get it? T, W, O says two. I would like two pieces of pizza, please. Do you remember how to spell the word look? Here it is. L O O K says look. Do you remember how to spell the word has? Like she has a book. Here it is. Let's check it out. H A S says has. So we have to look and has. Let's get our sentence ready for cups. Capital, the order, the punctuation, and the spelling. It might be a telling sentence. It might be an asking sentence. It might be a sentence to show expression. Let's hear the voice. How does our voice sound? Here it is. Is it time for lunch? Oh, you ask this all the time. Is it time for lunch? Let's count. Is it time for lunch? five words. You ask this. So we have to answer yes or no. So that means it's a question. Here we go. Let's start with our capital is. Is it, leave some space, is it time? Hmm, time. But I hear that I sound. How do we get that I sound? I'm. We need that silent E to make the I say I. Is it time for, let's go to the next line, lunch. Let's tap out lunch. Lunch. Ooh. Lunch. Now, this is just a ch. It's not a TCH because a TCH says at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, ch is spelled TCH. This isn't after a short vowel, ch. It's after the n sound. So it's just a ch, ch. That's why it's not a TCH. We have that other sound in there, n. Is it time for lunch? Your voice goes up. We're asking, is it? So we get a question mark. Let's count one, two, three, four, five words. Is it time for lunch? All right, good job today, boys and girls.